all right guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to the other blocks trading group here we trade the markets using the other blocks market structure and institutional order flow we like to keep things simple here the forex market is hard enough so guys please don't make it any harder keep things simple all right and if you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon so that any time we come out with a new video like this, you will be notified about it. And if you like the content, if you enjoy the content of this video, please give us a like, comment, and share with your friends. All right, before we dive into our discussion today, I like to greatly appreciate you guys out there for helping us to reach our first 100 subscribers on YouTube. A very big thank you to you. You guys are wonderful and marvelous. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for your encouragement. And I want to appeal to you, please help us, continue to help us and take us to the next level. Tell us to your friends and family members, please advertise this channel for us and our Telegram group. We have lots of valuable materials we want to share with you, but please, we want you to also help us to get to the next level. The journey has just started. Thank you so very much. I quite appreciate. Okay, having said that, let's go right into our discussion. In today's episode, I want to share with you the trade I took on Tuesday that fetched me 1 to 48 hours in 15 hours. 1 to 48 hours in 15 hours. Insane, right? So let's get started. Now, dollar yen. Dollar yen, as you may have known, the yen pairs have been skyrocketing in recent times. And here on this four hour time frame, I spotted two POIs on dollar yen. Two POIs. Here we have the first order block and the second order block here. Now, my thought process was that if price holds at this level, the first level, then price will shoot up to form a new higher high in line with the current uptrend. Or price will make a deep retracement into this other block here and then shoot up to continue with the uptrend. However, price respected the first level. And when I discovered that price rejected on the first level, I quickly went down to the lower time frame, that five minutes time frame. I went down to the five minutes time frame. Now, the first step for you is to find your other block, your POI on the higher time frame, and then scale down to the lower time frame. So I immediately scaled down to the five minute time frame. Now, here is the five minutes time frame. Take a look. This is the four hour OB on this five minutes. This is the four hour OB we saw on the four hour, on the four hour time frame. Now, this is it. Take a look at it. Price is coming down, making higher highs and higher lows. Higher, I mean, sorry, lower lows and lower highs. Lower lows and lower highs. And it came into our four hour OB came into our four hour OB. Now, the most recent lower high before this lows here was this one. And price went ahead and broke that lower high to the upside. It broke it to the upside. Now you may want to ask, does it therefore mean that trend is changing and that we are now going into an uptrend? Well, not so quickly. We have rules in place that we follow, and we must follow our rules to the latter in taking any trade. 
So when I saw this break of structure, the initial break of structure here to the upside, I waited and price reversed and then went up again to break the structure the second time. Now, I can now say our rules are fulfilled here. So we are now, the uptrend is now established. And so I found another block sitting here. I found another block sitting here. Remember I told you, this is your break of structure here. This is your swing high and this is your swing low. Remember I told you, between your swing high and your swing low is your trading range. And I said, your other block should be sitting at the extreme of your trading range. So I found this other block here and I mark it out. But the problem with this other block was that the stop loss was to be. As you may have known, or as I said in my previous video, I do not take any setup whose stop loss is more than five pips. And this stop loss was clearly more than five pips. And my maximum stop loss is five pips. So because this stop loss was more than five pips, I had to take the 50% of the other block. But unfortunately, price didn't get to my other block. So I couldn't take the trade. And market went ahead and broke the high to form a new higher high. And I now knew that we are in an established uptrend. I started looking for opportunities to get into the market to go long. And the opportunity presented itself here. Take a look at this place. Here, I found this break of structure. Price broke structure here. Take a look. Price broke structure here with this blue candle, this bullish candle. Price broke structure. Immediately, I saw that. I now found an other block sitting below. Remember I told you, your, after your break of structure, you identify your swing high and your swing low. In between your swing high and your swing low is where your eye should focus on. That is your trading range. And that your other block should be sitting at the extreme of your trading range. This was exactly what happened here. So I marked out the other block here. The other block was tiny and it was good for me. I mark out the other block. Another thing I want you to, to take note of that I told you that anytime you have an imbalance around your other block, that other block is a high probability other bro block. Now, all that present itself here. And I mark out the OB here and waited for price to return to the OB. And price returned to the OB to the P. Now, I took the trade from there. The size of this OB was one point, I think 1.7 pips, less than two pips stop loss. And I had to make it up to three pips, giving spreads and some other things. And price started exploding up. And now, price now, the market now gave me a re-entry. The market gave me a re-entry. Now, I now found out that there was another break of structure here. And the same setup as this. Price gave me a break of structure. Remember I told you, break of structure. This is your swing high. And this is your swing low. And between this your swing high and your swing low is your trading range. And I said your other block should be sitting at the extreme of your trading range. Now, break of structure here. Swing high, swing low. And I saw this imbalance with an other block here. Very clean, clear other block here with an imbalance. So I marked it out and waited. Price came back to that very other block and exploded up. Anytime you find an imbalance around your other block, I told you that other block is a high probability other block. And so price exploded. Price exploded. And... Look at it. Now, I want to tell you, this my first trade here gave me one to 42 hour, one to 42 hour. And this re-entry here gave me one to six hour, totaling one to 48 hour. Where 
did I take my where did I target my take profit? Now I took my take profit on the four hour OB. Now take a look. My target was this four hour OB here. That was my target. Now I placed my target right at this four hour OB. And when price got there, I closed the trade. Now, when price, when the trade was running, immediately the market broke the first structure after I took the trade. I moved my stop loss to break even and I held price until it got to this, my target, this four hour OB here. That was where I closed the trade and it gave me 1 to 48 hours in 15 hours. 1 to 48 hours in 15, 1, 1 to 48 hours in 15 hours. Insane, right? That's what you can get when you master the other block trading strategy. Now, I want to show you another, another pair. This one, I did not take it. But I just want to share it with you for you to learn on how you can take trades from higher time frame to the lower time frame and be precise about it. Keep things simple. Now, this is gold. This is gold. One hour. Gold. One hour. Take a look. Take a look. This is... Let's go to the one hour. This is gold. Go to the one hour. Now, this is the one hour of gold. Take a look at this very huge bearish candle. One candle. Look at the size of this one candle. It came down and broke structure here. Broke structure here. Leaving an other block here. And this green box is the one hour other block. Take a look at this huge candle. Now, this is an imbalance because look at this huge candle. Anytime you find a candle as huge as this, be sure that price will rotate back to fill in the gap because the way the market runs is 50% buy, 50% sell. If there is anything that upside that very arrangement, certainly the algorithm will move price back to rebalance, to fill in that gap so that price can be balanced. Now, this is the one hour OB. When I saw this one hour OB, like I told you, I did not take this trade. I'm just using it to show, I'm using it as a case study to show you how you can take trade from the higher time frame down to the lower time frame. Immediately, price rotated back to this one hour OB. I now, you can now move down to your lower time frame of your choice. In this case, I went to the 15 minute time frame and I found this and I, and I waited. I saw price came into the uh, one hour OB. This green box is the one hour OB. Now, immediately price came into the one hour OB. I started looking, reading the structure. Price came in here and broke structure here to the downside. It broke structure here to the downside. Price retraced and went back to that OB here and price dropped again. But when I look closely again, I discovered that this structure here was really not broken because of this long week here. So the structure was not broken. So it was sort of sideways movement here. And when I see this kind of structure, I take my cool. I just wait for price to do its thing and show me its hand clearly. And I waited. So when price finished doing what it was doing, price now finally broke down and took out this low here. It took out this low here. And the other block, the opposite other block before the break of this structure was this other block here. Well, I wouldn't have taken this other block if I were to trade this market. I wouldn't have taken this first other block. Why? Because it has not met our two rules. We set double break of structure. Now, price has just broken the structure once, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, 
Price now went back to that first OB and mitigated out of it and dropped. Now, when price dropped, it left a break of structure here. This is your break of structure. Take a look at my push ball. This is your break of structure. This is your swing high here. And this is your swing low. And I told you, your swing high and your swing low is in between is your trading range. And your other block should be sitting at the extreme of your trading range. And here is the last opposite candle before this break of structure here. So I mark it out. And price rotated back to that other block and fell aggressively. Look at how aggressive price fell. Look at it. Take a look at it. Now, I'm sure if you went to the one minute time frame, you could have refine this five minutes OB to a much more smaller OB and your stop loss will be much more smaller. So guys, this is the simple way to trade the market. You do not need to overcomplicate things. The forex market is not so difficult, but human beings have made it look difficult. This is the simple way for you to Analyze your market. Don't waste your time over analyzing. When you overanalyze the market, it leads to analysis paralysis. Please, guys, keep things simple. Make sure you mark your OB from your higher time frame and then walk your way down to your lower time frame. I have given you the step by step way. Please, guys, keep it simple. All right. Once again, guys, I want to appreciate you guys out there for helping us to get the first 100 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Please continue to spread the good news. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos. We have lots of valuable materials coming your way. Please subscribe now. And if you have not joined our free Telegram group, please join now. I will leave the link in the description below. Join our free uh, Telegram group. A lot is going on there. There are traders who are developing their skills because of our free content on that Telegram group. Please join now. Thank you very much, guys. And I wish you a fruitful week.